Hi everyone, so I'm here to do my my June favorites and it's already July and just a couple more weeks until I get my vacation from work so I didn't have that many favorites last month but I have a few more this month because there's sales everywhere so I have as I said a bit more favorites this month and most of it is it's, uh, it's brand new so if it's kind of noisy outside I'm trying to film out on my balcony and it's uh, kind of late in the evening so the lighting is not very well but I really wanted to get this done so yeah let's get started shall we so let's see here we can start with my perfume car uh, my perfume I bought a new perfume now at, uh, at it was on sale it was like I think 50% off or something like that and it's the Moschino Cheap and Cheek Chic uh, I Love. It's called, it looks like this. So it's very beautiful. And it has a very summery scent to it, very like uh, citrusy scent. So I really like that and it's so cute as well. And then I have a hand cream and it's the Body Shop Wild Rose Hand Cream in SPF 15 looks like this and this wasn't on sale but I bought it now and I've had my eye on it for so long because to me it gives me like a nostalgic feeling because it smells exactly like the roses that my grandmother, my father's mother had when I was younger so it smells exactly like the roses she had in her garden so I really like it looks like this and then let's see here which take we can take nails I have a lot of nails nail polishes this week well, week month and we can start with my Dolce & Gabbana nail polish in Stromboli looks like this it's a black base with the golden olive green uh, the glitter in it and I bought this in Rome as I as I showed in my Rome haul so I really like that and the staying power of this is so amazing so kind of pricey I think it's the most expensive nail polish I ever bought but I really like it and you can't get them in Sweden uh, you have to check their website or google it to see where you can get them because I got them in Rome at a department store but I really like that and then I have another Soya nail polish and this looks like this and this is in the color Key and it's a gorgeous gorgeous color it's like a, it's a duochrome with dark purple blue green so gorgeous I actually have a, a review on this on my blog so I link the blog down below so that is really awesome and then I have my first ever OPI nail polish and this is like just a mini and it's from the Superman collection, Amazing Superman collection and it's called Just Spotted the Lizard so it's so gorgeous, it's also a duochrome with the golden green blue it mostly looks golden but in some lights it actually looks like a very bright blue so I really like this, and as I said, it's a mini. I bought in a set of four, but this one is the only one I ever tried. I know I have it on now, but I put it on in, in July, so it doesn't count. But I have on my nails is Your Web or Mine. It's the pinky shade. Looks like this. But this is so gorgeous. I'm actually thinking of buying a backup, like the full size one, but I'm not, I haven't decided yet. But that was it. Uh, OPI's just spotted the, liz the lizard and then I have two shiner glaze nail polishes both these were on sale so I got them for approximately four or five euros so they were approximately half off and I got the one first one in trendsetter looks like this a very gorgeous like olivey green with the yellow golden shimmers in it and then I have Lighthouse, looks like this. 
it's a yellow golden glitter polish and the staying power of these are actually really good and it says here that they have uh, nail lacquer with hardeners so it has some hardness in it but I always use my um, Sekvit uh, top coat on it so that's that was the nail polishes and then we can take some lip care and I have two uh, lipsticks that I really really love for this month and I bought them in Rome and they are my Dolce Gabbana lipsticks I have two of them and let's start with this I don't know if you can hear that but that's really loud actually trailer on there uh, anyway this is the, the from the limited edition collection by Monica Bellucci and it's called Chic Monica and it has Monica sign stand right there and it's a gorgeous gorgeous color I don't know I think I had better swatches on my haul because I don't know how this lighting will get it but it's a beautiful darker pink shade which I really love and then the other nail, pol uh, nail polish lipstick is the the Dolce Gabbana, I think it's the Duo Passion or something, and this is in Poetic, and it's also beautiful. It has the little gloss in the middle, if you can see that, and a swatch of that. It's a bigger one, but as I said, I don't know how the lighting here shows it off, but in my haul video, you can see the swatch is much better, so I'll try to link that down below as well. And then I have some face products, and we can start with the, my e.l.f. Uh, Studio Translucent Mattifying Powder. I really like that now that it's... I always get more oily now in the summer, so this is perfect to, to set my makeup with. And I use mineral foundation, so it's not a lot to set, but I use set my concealer and stuff. It just feels better when I have a setting powder over it. And it's just a translucent powder like this so it might look a little bit on the thing but when you blend it out it doesn't show so it's perfect and it stays matte like all day I don't even really have to touch up I'm sorry I have a sore neck and then I have my blush that I've used most this month or last month and it's the Vivo Baked Blush in Peaches and Cream looks like this it's a very gorgeous baked blush with like a peachy pink color. I don't know if you can see that, but if you want me to do a, f a deep review of this, just let me know and I will. There's a swatch. And I don't actually remember if I've done one or not. But if you want another review, either check my blog, jessabelle.blogpost.com uh, or just uh, comment below and I'll do a review on it. And then the last face product is my NYC uh, bronzing powder in Sunny. Looks like this. I actually got this right before I went to Rome, but I haven't really had a chance to really try it out. But I really, really like it. It's a matte bronzer. Looks like this. Uh, a lot of YouTubers have talked about this so much. But yeah, I really, really like it, and I had, as I said in my, I think it was my Seven Deadly Sins post, that I really have no idea what to do with the bronzer, because I wanted a matte one, and I only have shimmery ones. So I, I've used this, and it's beautiful, I can contour with it, I can like do my cheekbones and everything, so I really like it. It gives me really a, a really good look, not too dark for me, because I'm kind of fair skinned. So I really like that. And then I have some eye products. Got quite a lot of eye products actually. It's been a lot of sales and, uh, and stuff like that. And first of all I have some Isadora brand uh, products. Isadora is a Swedish, mo Swedish brand. And I have a trio that's called Bridal Rose. Oops, looks like that. Most applicator. Looks like this. So, it's kind of light colors. I like them a little bit darker, but it works. Let's see. 
there I have the highlighter, the pink one and the like taupey one. So it works. I've been in a kind of a, a more neutral type uh, face in my life right now because I had I've had so much dramatic on my eyes like on every day so I wanted a little bit more like yeah just an eyeliner or or something like that yeah so I have on my now uh, right now I'm just a, a teal eyeliner well just a sidetrack <laughs> and then well I kind of like that one but I'm not I'm on the fence a little bit because because it barely shows up on me but and then I bought the Isadora single shadow in white or in, in marble and it's a good highlighter color it looks very white right there but it blends out very good so it's a good highlighter and this was also on sale and then I have a third third uh, Isadora and it looks like this and it's the khaki brown looks like this and on the skin it looks like this so it's a beautiful grayish taupey color. I really like that one. And then I have some Wet n Wild. First of all I have my Comfort Zone palette and this is perfect for a neutral eye or something because it has so many colors in it there. So yeah I really like this dark brown here to use as a liner. So it's a very rich dark chocolatey color very intense as you can see and my all-time favorite one is this on the other side it's like a duochrome color this is so gorgeous it changes color depending on when you see it in which light and stuff so I really like this palette and then I have two trio trios and they are the first one is I'm, I'm getting sunburned looks like this. I actually have an eye of the day or face of the day of the day on my blog using this. So it's a pink, a quite dark pink. It says brow bone but I will never have it on the brow bone because it's too too dark I think. But I use it as over all over the lid as uh, and the gold one is also very good and the brown one in the crease. It can be a little bit difficult to blend the brown one. As you can see that I try to blend it really quickly but it's kind of hard to blend it so you have to be very very careful but otherwise it's a very good summery quad and the, and this I got from uh, Tradera the Swedish uh, kind of, uh, of eBay and then I have another as I also got on Tradera and it's the eyeshadow quad in Bright Idea and this is a very summery summery quad like a very pink, green and yellow. So I thought this would be perfect for summer now when the weather is better. But we haven't really had any good weather here yet. So there are the colors. Pink one, the yellow one and the green one. So the pigmentation on Wet n Wild stuff is always always great so I really really like these ones yeah so I had a few more favorites that I had to go fetch so my last uh, beauty favorite is my new mascara and I also bought this in Rome and it's the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Curl and I really like this because it actually holds my curls the, eye, the curl on my eye eyelashes I forgot the word it holds it all day and not a lot of mascaras do that but it's a very wet formula and the brush is like crazy big so when I saw this brush I was like how am I gonna get this in my eye because my eye like the brush is huge but the mascara is really really good so I'm kind of sad right now that I can't get Essence here in Sweden and they don't ship to Sweden either so that's a bit I'm, I'm quite sad about that, but I really like this mascara, and I think it was like it was under three pound, uh, three euros when I bought it. So that is a definite favorite. And my last two favorites actually are shoes. So I have two shoes; they're from the same brand, 
and they are the brand Decode. And the first one looks like this. It's a beautiful little sandal in red leather and uh, denim. And you tie it here and it has a heel. A very good heel to walk in because you don't get uh, tired, your feet doesn't hurt with it. So yeah, it's so gorgeous and the brand, as I said, is the Decode. So these are the four first ones. And then the other ones look like this. And these are in leather and there is brown leather and a bit of orange to accent it. it has a, the heel is like the same and you tie it around your waist, uh, waist and you around your ankle like this. So I really like this one as well. They're really comfortable to walk in both of them. So they're just good all time, all day, every day shoe in the nice weather. That hasn't really come to Sweden yet, but yeah. So yeah, that was a little bit about my June favorites. So if you want me to do a review of anything or you want to know anything more about this, just comment below and I'll make that happen. And. Uh, I love to see what you, your monthly favorite or your June favorite are. So, please uh, comment or for please do a a video response. Just leave it down below, and I love to see it. So, yeah. So yeah, let's see. <laughs> I don't know what to say here, uh, but yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll I would love you to do that, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.